My name is It's Cuba, and today I'm going to teach you how to download and install a script hook v4 GTA 5. This is extremely easy to do, and I'm also going to teach you how to download and install a script hook v.net in case you need to add certain mods later on for your GTA 5 game. The first step is to click the second link in the description, which is going to bring you to a written guide on how to download and install a script hook. Now, feel free to read through the guide and look at the screenshots. This is an in depth guide in here. However, if you just want to follow along, all you have to do is go to the step that says download and install a script hook v for GTA 5 which is really right here. You could just scroll down and then go ahead and click on this button that says a script hook V, which will redirect you over here. Now, sometimes I have heard that sometimes it won't redirect you over here and instead it will bring you over here into this website. If it brings you here, all you have to do is click on download, then click on GTA 5 and then click on a script hook and then you'll be over here just in case initially the button didn't bring you to the right website, right? All you have to do is then just find GTA 5 and click on a script hook V. Once over here, go ahead and click where it says download. Once that file downloaded, go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop, just like so. Now that you have the script hook V, and by the way, I've heard that some people can download this file because of your Windows Defender and stuff like that, because it doesn't let you download it. Um, I mean, a script hook V has been totally safe to use for me and for most of the people I know. Well, all the people I know that use it. So if you want to download it, go ahead and do so. If you don't want to download it, that's up to you. Anyways, once you downloaded the script hook V, it's super simple to install. But before we go ahead and do so, we're also going to download the script hook V.net. So just to scroll down here on our guide on our website, just scroll a little bit down or you might also click where it says a script hook V.net download and install here on the index and you'll be over here and then go ahead and click on the .net button, which is going to redirect you to the GitHub page for scripthookv.net. Then go ahead and click on this first latest release in here. Go ahead and click on it and then scroll down and then go ahead and click on this scripthookv.net zip file in here, the first one, and the download for that will start right away. And now that we have both files, we are ready to start installing things. The first thing we got to do is locate the installation folder for our GTA 5. If you don't know how to find that out, I'm going to show you how to find it. But also in the description of this video and on the first pinned comment, I'm going to leave the most common locations for GTA 5 to be installed at. Anyways, let me go ahead and show you how to find your installation folder for GTA 5. All you have to do is find the launcher where you installed your game. So let's say that you install the game through Steam or through Epic Games. First, we're going to do Epic Games. And once you're over here in Epic Games, find GTA 5 in your library, click on these little three dots click on manage and then click this little folder in here and that is going to open the installation folder for GTA 5. Now let's say that you had the game on Steam. If you have GTA 5 here on Steam, just go to your library, find GTA 5 in here. I don't have the game on Steam, okay? As you saw, I have it on Epic Games, but let's act like the 3D aim trainer is GTA 5, right? So suppose this is your GTA 5 game. What you're going to do is right click on it, click on manage and then click browse local files and that is going to open the folder, which might open down here for GTA 5. So that'll bring it to the GTA 5 installation folder through Steam, okay? And if you have the game through Rockstar Launcher, then you're going to have to use the comment in the description of this video to find out your location of the game. Now, before we continue and before we add the script hook into GTA 5, I do want to let you know that you are recommended to create a backup of your GTA 5 game before adding mods in case later on you want to go back to the base game. If you want to create a backup, just go out of this folder. So go to like, if you have it through Epic Games, just go back here to the Epic Games folder. Or if you have it to Steam, just go to the Steam folder and just literally select it, press Ctrl C, and then just go ahead and paste this folder somewhere else, Ctrl V anywhere. Or you could also right click and click show more options and then click paste and you could create a copy of this GTA 5 folder, okay? Just letting you guys know that that is an option that you have and I do recommend that you create copies and backups before you mod. Anyways, let's go ahead and open the GTA 5 folder and let's go ahead and add a script hook. So what you wanna do is first you wanna open the script hook V, just a regular script hook, the first zip file we downloaded. If you're using Windows 11, you could just double click on it and it will open. If you're using a different OS or maybe an older system, you might have to download WinRAR. We have a video on this channel and guides on the website on how to do that, it's super simple and WinRAR will allow you to open these compressed files. Anyways, once you open this folder, this is script hook v zip file, go ahead and open the bin folder in here. Just open it and you're going to select the input 8.dll as well as the script hook v dll. So just select one and then press control on your keyboard and select the other one. And now just go ahead and drag and drop them into the GTA 5 folder, just like that. I already had it, so I'm going to go ahead and replace the files in the destination. And for you guys, it's just going to drop into here. Now, you also have the option to download or to drag and drop the native trainer into here, right? If you want to use the native trainer, if that's something you want to do, the native trainer is pretty much a mod menu that will only work in single player. It pretty much gives you all these options to have like um, unlimited cache and god mode 
and er everything you can imagine with the mod menu, right? So that's an option that you have in there. I don't recommend you try and use this on multiplayer because it could get you banned. I'm not even sure if it works on multiplayer because I have never even tried it myself. You guys could let me know down in the comments if this works on multiplayer or not. But yeah, that's an option that you have. However, for this video, we're only installing the script hook and not the native trainer. Anyways, you could go ahead and close out from that zip file now and you could even delete the script hook B from your computer, the zip file. You don't need it anymore. And now we're going to go ahead and add the script hook V.net, which is pretty much going to make a bunch of mods compatible with your script hook V. A lot of mods out there don't work because they are a .NET mod and you need the script hook V.net in order for them to work. So go ahead and open the zip file, same way we did earlier with the other zip file, and then select all the files in here, except the license and the readme text files. Okay, so just those two text files, don't select them. Everything else you're going to select and you're going to drag and drop into the GTA 5 folder, but I'm drag and drop those into there. And that is it. You are now set. You could delete the zip file and you could launch your GTA 5 and now you have a script hook V install. If you enjoyed this video and if it worked for you, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, bye bye.